What's the personality type of Louis Tomlinson? In today's video, let's try and figure that out. You are very vulnerable in your songwriting and the music you put out there. I'm just honest, I'd yeah. say, yeah. And yeah, just be me, really, and not have to worry too much about anything else. I was lucky, I think, being honest and at times being vulnerable in the lyric kind of comes easy to me. Okay, so the first thing I noticed about Louis Tomlinson is he's very big on personal authenticity. He talks a lot about trusting his gut and being real. And you want them to see how it is. You want them to see that you're real, you know what I mean? A lot of people have, you know, a lot to say about what they think I should be, and I just got to start and strong and say no this is who I am trust yourself and and, and trust your gut because yeah. um, nobody understands you better than you he's someone where his interpersonal feelings about things slips out on his face I notice he does this thing where he'll be talking and then suddenly just start smiling or giggling to himself because what he's saying really feels right really resonates with him really emotionally affects him I heard stories that you at one point wanted to become an actor is that true? Yeah, kind of. Um, when I... It's not funny, yeah. <laughs> Another thing I noticed is Louis is quite comfortable at shooting off his mouth. If anything seems weird to him or fake to him, he makes a comment. He sort of pushes back, even if it's his own fans. I just yeah. wasn't ready for the band to go on a break, to be honest. Um, so, oh, come on, Jesus. <laughs> Louis is clearly a type of person that can't easily fake or water down what he's feeling. After seeing these specific emotional personality patterns popping up over and over again researching for Louis, it became very clear Louis is one of the four FP personality types. In other words, a personality type that uses something called introverted feeling all the time. Introverted feeling is an emotional decision-making style that lets certain personality types be amazing at checking in a lot with what really feels right to them at an individual level. We wear our art on our sleeves, really, you know what I mean? So it comes naturally to me, really, to kind of just be open about the way that I feel and stuff like that. Something you'll see a lot with all the FP personality types that use introverted feeling all the time is they're quite tuned into how things personally and emotionally make them feel emotionally affect them. And they're very, very into using their inner personal feelings, their own individual emotional value system to decide what they want to express, how they want to present themselves and what they want to prioritize, which gives them the superpower of very raw, captivating personal authenticity, which we see a lot of with Louis Tomlinson. Uh, well, for, uh, the first one I got was this like stickman skateboarder here, which obviously looks stu stupid and pretty random on its own. And then I got this line for the ramp, which obviously is not right, which is why I got me oops. <laughs> <laughs> Most people take them really seriously, you know what I mean? Spend months over working on the exact one. But I think, just get to tattoo shop and decide when you're there. <laughs> the next personality pattern I noticed watching Louis is he's great at not overthinking things. He's a very go with the flow type of person. He's often literally laid back. <laughs> I mean, do you see him manspreading in these clips? I don't think I've ever seen anyone manspread as wide, as confidently as Louis does. Nasty question to end on, you little f <laughs> but, <laughs> well, what a lovely interview, spoilt with that last question. Uh, I'm joking, obviously. Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking. It really caught my attention how Louis is very comfortable spinning things out and saying things without double checking, without worrying if what he's saying is exactly what he means, where even when he says things that don't quite fully work or don't fully make sense, he's able to have this eh, whatever attitude about things, able to just shrug things off or take things back without batting an eye. Louis is someone that's very comfortable rolling with whatever, confident in his ability to just throw things together, make things work, play, react to anything that comes in to an extent that loudly points to him being one of the four EP personality types that on the spectrum of things are extremely open, flexible, and spontaneous in comparison to any other personality types. The next major personality pattern I noticed watching Louis was his logical side that actually showed up quite a bit during his interviews. Honestly, just as much as his splashy, expressive, emotional side. Did you ever feel like you were having to put anything on? I think sometimes people insinuate that, you know, it might be the record label 
management yeah, that yeah, make yeah. you like this, but it's not. You're respectful of the fan base and their age, mm. and we had, you know, we had a young fan base. Also, they've got mums who can get angry if you yeah. piss them off, you know yeah. what I mean? So I think it's just being respectful there. In this clip, do you see Louis pragmatism and how he's sort of like, yeah, we did have to filter some things and adjust some things, but it wasn't that big of a deal. If we had been fully unfiltered, just doing whatever, that wouldn't be very practical. Things wouldn't have worked as well. We had to just sort of zoom out and be conscious of the big picture other things going on. Whenever you have a personality type that's quite good at introverted feeling, you'll always also see those personality types have this surprisingly detached, executive, pragmatic side of them that's also very real. That's also a core important part of their personalities. This less emotional, more logical side of Louis' personality type is something called extroverted thinking. And in simple terms, this is the side of Louis' personality type that's good at zooming out sometimes, taking things less personally, taking the emotion out of things in order to just make things happen, accomplish things, and get things done. Do you see in these clips how Louis is a lot flatter, not very expressive at all, sort of actually detached, just sort of in work mode, answering the questions in order to get through the interview, in order to just do his job and get things done. Whenever you see expressive FP personality types like this, this is their extroverted thinking side, sort of balancing things out, showing up and popping up in real life, going, you know, I don't really feel like being super emotional and expressive, expressing the full real me right now. I just sort of want to get through this interview. And so I'm just going to chill out and do what's necessary, what's practical in order to get this job done. Why did you decide to call the album Walls? I'd love to have a really clever answer for this, but the reality is the clock was ticking. I needed an album name. <laughs> Walls is my favorite song off the album. I thought the concept behind this song individually is cool. So I just didn't think about it too much and went with Walls. This is another example of Louis' extroverted thinking showing up in real life. It's sort of the last minute and Louis hasn't fully planned things out or thought things through a situation that pops up a lot with EP personality types. And what does Louis do? He just sort of picks something, doesn't overthink it and goes, eh, this is sort of cool to me. All right, it sort of feels okay. I think I'll just call the album this. This'll work, this'll get the job done. This pragmatism that helps Louis sort of throw things together, make things work even at the last second is an example of his extroverted thinking personality superpowers showing up in real life. The last major personality pattern that caught my attention researching for Louis was in the very specific particular way that Louis liked to explain things during his interviews when he was explaining what things were meaningful to him and what things meant to him there were some really interesting personality patterns that kept showing up over and over again what I was used to with One Direction was like an album a year and this is me reflecting on that you know I was struggling to find my place in the band and I wasn't singing that much and when I was younger before I was in the band you know when I was a little bit younger or when I'd just come out of the band, I think I was so conscious of chasing radio oh. and trying to get a number one record. I started noticing Louis talks about the past, brings up the past quite a bit. And it's very easy, intuitive for him to think back on things, reflect back on things, to appreciate where he's come from. And as I say, you know, it was an important part of my story. But th that connection, will, that'll be forever. It was crazy what we all saw together and experienced. Mm. So I think that is something that we'll have forever. Even the chapters that are long gone, not relevant anymore, even the really hard parts of his past, I noticed he's very appreciative and accepting of it all, which is actually a huge personality clue. There's no disrespect to the other two songs that I did because they were a great time in my life and I needed that experience. Every mistake, I suppose, is, you know, it's all part of your journey and, and, and you do definitely learn something every time. So. This specific way Louis really appreciates his past, sort of grounds himself using the past, is actually a personality pattern that's very unique to NP and SJ personality types that like taking things in and thinking about things, digging up what's meaningful to them using two personality superpowers called extroverted intuition and introverted sensing. Extroverted intuition is a special way of pattern spotting that likes to make connections in a very fast and open way, rethinking things, rearranging things to dig up unexpected meanings and possibilities. On the other hand, introverted sensing is a different special way of bringing things together and connecting the dots that likes to ground things and anchor things using the past, that loves thinking back on things, being able to point back and reference back to real 
clear, concrete past experiences, meaningful moments, and important chapters and turning points to dig up extra personal meaning. Like, that was something new to me. That, that song, um, I've never had an experience like that as a songwriter. And, and kind of from that moment, I didn't really look back. And after that moment, especially after that first album of that tour in particular for us was special. Everyone dropped everything to be, and uh, you know, I'll never forget that. It yeah. meant a lot to me, definitely. Do you see here Louis talking about all these different turning points, meaningful moments in his story that jump out to him, that he loves to hold on to, point back to, reference back to all the time? This way of thinking about things, finding things meaningful, is a very, very NP personality type thing. A personality pattern that's very, very unique, specific to NP and SJ personality types because they use these two personality superpowers. Look at things using these two personality superpowers all the time. Okay, so putting all these personality patterns together, a super open, flexible, spontaneous EP personality type that's really good at checking in with what emotionally really feels right, feels authentic to him using introverted feeling that also sometimes is good at throwing things together in a more logical, detached, pragmatic way using extroverted thinking, and that's also sometimes quite sentimental, that loves thinking back on things, grounding himself, using the past, talking about things, finding things meaningful in a quite specific NP personality type way, using extroverted intuition and introverted sensing. The thing that match that makes the most sense to me for Louis Tomlinson is that he's an ENFP personality type. I heard a couple years ago, Louis and Zayn Malik had a bit of personal public conflict, some drama relating to Louis' mother. I got sort of curious about it. If you guys wanted to see me reacting to Louis and Zane's personal conflict, analyzing it from a personality type perspective, there's actually a bonus video waiting for you right now on Patreon, link down below in the description. You are the change maker of your own life. Let's think more deeply. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace, bye.